hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video I will show you how I found a way to do the image logo watermark for your pictures I found a way to do it on PixArt the app so here's how you do it first you go to the PixArt application which is this one right here And when you're doing this, have a picture of yourself if you're going to add a picture of yourself or if you're going to do it with a clip art image. Make sure the background is like white or light and not a dark background, okay? So you go on here to edit, go to gallery, um, look for your image and I'm going to use this image here. So this is the image I'm using of myself and then you go to effects and not if it's not effects it's effect only let me zoom in so you can see go to this one right here and then this will pop up and make sure you stay on FX and then you scroll down to the side not scroll down scroll across all the way and then click HDR1 let me see if I could get a closer look click this one right here HDR1 and then the image will get like more sharpened and that's how it looks and you could unsharpen some of the some of the image if you want or if you want to sharpen it more to define your face okay so I'm gonna leave it like this and once you're set with how you want it you just click apply which is up here and then it will apply and then you click this plus sign right here and then from there you go to artistic and then you scroll across and click sketcher one this one right here that it's black and white and that's how your picture looks and you could do it like this but I like to make my hair look darker so what I like to do is uh, move this a little bit mask one like that you move it however you want it magic 2 I always leave it all the way to the end and mask 2 which is this one okay let me see magic 2 to this side to the right and mask 2 to the left so you're only going to be working with mask 1 and magic 1 okay so you just keep moving it up to where you like it and I will leave it like this let me see yeah I'll leave it like this okay so then you put that down if you want to see how the image is looking so once you're done now you click the check mark and then you go to draw which is this one right here and then make sure it's on this on um, paintbrush draw click it and leave it on this how it is on this one that is kind of like that and the opacity leave it all the way to 100 percent click set and now you want to pick the color and we're going to pick white because we want to erase the background we want a white background so now you put the picture smaller you just pinch it like this with two fingers and then you just start erasing the picture i mean the background It's better maybe to use this brush instead. Yeah, use this one instead. The one that is with no edges like that. That is just a sharp edge. Sorry. Yeah, you'll clean it faster like that. 
let me just make the brush a little bigger make sure you don't do it that big in case you erase some of your image so yeah you're just erasing the background we want a clear white background And if you make a mistake, you just click the back button up here and you'll go back. Okay, right here I could pinch, pinch it. Sorry. Pinch it a little. Yeah. You can't tell that much, but okay. So there, once you're done with cleaning up, then you click the check mark up here. And then this will pop up and it says last, last chance to save draft, export video, whatever. You just click OK. And then at this point, save the image in case you make a mistake with your title, with your name or something. Just save the image. So save it right now. And OK. Go to Tool in the bottom click tool and then crop and I'm gonna crop my image up to here I want that size I don't want it too long so let me do it this way better then click the check mark and now this is for me for my preference the clip art image that I'm going to use is a nail polish. I think it looks cute and appropriate because I like to do nail design. So I'm adding this. Let me see if you can see it. Okay, so yeah. I'm adding that image of a nail polish. Okay, and then I'm going to add another little the same one but a smaller size I'm going to add it right here and you can rotate your image okay then you click the check mark again and now so you're, when you write your name with the text right here before clicking it you should like maybe do like a white background so it will show your name so what I like to do is go to draw and click this right here the paintbrush and now we're gonna use this one I don't know how you call that but I'm gonna use this effect this brush effect this one and the opacity I'm gonna put it like 50% maybe I'm gonna check it and we're gonna pick the color white and we're just gonna brush it off like that yeah just brush it off like that that's for my preference so my name could pop out and as you can see it's see-through still so that's good and then click the check mark click OK and now you put your text this one right here click text and write your your name, your logo name if you want. I'm gonna write May Nail Designs. So I wrote May Nail Designs, okay. And I'm gonna choose, let's see what font I wanna choose. I'm just gonna choose a random font right now. Let's say this one, okay. Um this is for the back, the outline color. I'm going to choose the white so it can pop out. So white. And then the color inside will be black. Both way up and down will be black. Click the check mark. There goes your font. Let me zoom out. Now you drag it down. And as you can see, it pops out. Then you size it how big you want it. I'm gonna leave it that size and now you click the check mark again down here and now you're done okay so now you save it once again 
once you have everything you like click OK and there it's saved yeah it's saved okay now let's go back I just click the back button to go back now I'm gonna get a picture of a nail art that I've done let me get one from the gallery okay so this is a picture I'm using and before I add the logo I'm gonna crop this picture you go to tools crop I want it squared I'm gonna zoom it in let's say right there okay that's the size I want the picture to be okay now we're gonna add our logo now you click add photo which is this one right here it says add photo and now go to gallery and go to the pix art folder that's where you saved your image and it's right there in the pix art folder click it and click the image you just did and then you it'll go down there and you just click done and your image will pop out there okay I know it has the white background but this is what you do click the image make sure it's highlighted and down here there's an arrow and there's a word next to it and it says normal click on that and click multiply and there you go now you adjust it to the size you want the picture to be if you want it on your image so it'll be your watermark just make it a little bigger and there you can see that's how you do it and you adjust it to whatever size you want and there it goes your image logo watermark then you just click the check mark if that's where you want it and then you just save it press OK and there your image is saved now we could go back I'm gonna go to the gallery so you can see it that it's saved there pics gallery Mm, that's not it that was an old one I did and here it goes there it goes the one that we just did right now yep there it goes so that's how you do it guys I hope this helps you out and I will see you guys in the next one bye